Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafters. Today we're going to make five cards using the Love from Lizzie March kit. And I'll have a link down below in the description for the unboxing of that kit. For our first card, we're going to make a slimline card and you'll need a card base and it will measure eight by eight and we'll score that at four. And this will give us an eight by four card base. Then I'm going to put this pink panel on and it measures three and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And I have some lovely pattern paper and that measures three and a half by seven and a half. Onto that then I will put this pink panel and it measures three and a quarter by three and three quarters. And then I have this white one and it measures three by three and a half. I have a little strip or off cut of patterned paper here and that's a half an inch by three. I've put some ribbon on that and I'm going to tie a bow with some ribbon onto that as well. I'll be using some of the stickers and I'll be putting them on that white panel. So as I'm doing the voiceover for this video, it happens to be Mother's Day here. It's Sunday the 14th of March and um, I'm just thinking, gosh, there's so much going on because it's Mother's Day today. We've got St. Patrick's Day on Wednesday. Then we've got Easter coming up pretty much soon after that. So it seems to be a whole lot going on this month. But um, I have to say I'm loving this kit and the colours and everything in it. It's it's um, I suppose it's kind of an Easter um, kit. The stamps have Easter eggs and everything on it. And one of the dies is um, Happy Easter. But I have to say, you know, you could use the papers and everything in this for anything other than Easter. I just think the color palette on it is just so beautiful um, from the pattern papers to the stickers to even the ribbons um, that we got in the kit. Just beautiful colors. OK, so now I have my center panel and I've stuck that down. I'm going to take some of the stickers. Now, this sticker sheet, the stickers stick really, really well. But I'm just a little bit OCD. I like to use a little bit of liquid glue on my stickers because I want to be sure that they're not going to pop off. So you'll see me there um, using some of my glitter glue. Now here I'm using my embossing buddy tool. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the stickiness of the wings of the butterfly. I've stuck down the body of the butterfly and I'm going to put teeny little strips of uh, foam tape under the wings and that'll just give the body of the wings you know some depth on the card so i have my easter eggs my butterfly my happy easter sentiment and i'm putting three of these little love hearts down then inside i'm going to stamp um a stamp from my or a sentiment from my um stash which is may today bring health and happiness to you and those you love. I'm also going to put the um, long stamp that's on the sticker um, kit. It's a scalloped edge and I'm going to put that on the inside of the card as well as a strip a quarter of an inch wide of the pink matte layer that we've used. And I don't show you that in the video because it's an afterthought. It's uh, later on when I have the cards made and I'm thinking that that pattern paper goes well with that sticker strip. I could use that, but you'll see it in the um, pictures at the end. I also used some of my Nouveau drops on the sequins that I stuck down. So they have a lovely sparkle effect. And that there is card number one. And now we're on to card number two. And I have a scalloped edged five by seven card base here. So your card base will need to measure 10 by 7 and then you'll score it at 5. But this is a shop bought one that I'm using. I also have some patterned paper here. Now because of the scalloped edge, my patterned paper will measure 4.5 by 6.5. I've die cut out this oval and my oval is, it's about 4.5 wide by about 3.5 in depth. And I'm going to have my card as a landscape card 
and then my oval will sit on there and I've put my uh, bow down and put some foam tape on the back of that. I'll use some of the stickers to embellish that oval panel and then inside I'm going to put this uh, rainbow and it's uh, one of the pages that comes in the kit and I fussy cut it out but I've left this straight edge at the top and I've cut a straight edge at the bottom and the straight edge at the top is so that it will work with this the mechanism now my mechanism piece is four inches long by an inch and a half and I've scored it at one one and a half two and a half and three and then I'm going to fold them over on the score lines and then burnish them this is going to fold over on itself we're going to glue it closed by with these two panels here and then we're going to stick two edges to our card and one edge to our rainbow and you'll see that once we get further in there but i'm just showing you how the mechanism will close over and back on itself lovely and it's such a simple thing really but it works really well so i'm going to take some liquid glue now and i'm going to put it on one end and I just find the liquid glue will give me a little bit of wriggle room, but you can use some tape or whatever you have in your stash. So I'm folding over the other end on top of it. So our mechanism is flat at this stage, but you can see it pops open there into this like a rectangular box. So I'm just pressing down on my glue, making sure it adheres and, you know, pushing it over and back so the mechanism works well. OK, so now it's just a matter of sticking down and assembling our card. So I have my lovely pattern paper on the front and I'm going to put down my oval now. And you can see there I had my bow and everything on there ready to go. I'm going to take some of the stickers. I love these laced up Wellington boots. I think they're so cool. I would totally wear them in the garden or out walking the dogs or even with a nice skirt or jeans. I think they're really cool. We've got a basket full of Easter eggs. Don't they look delicious? And I'm going to use the Hello Spring sticker sentiment. Sure, why not? It'll save me having to stamp or die cut out one. Now I'm also going to take one of these little sentiments along the bottom and I was having a read through to see which one I preferred and I like this one basket of goodies because that's what it is. It's a basket of goodies. Perfect. OK, now I've slowed everything down for this part. I want you to see how I'm going to sit the mechanism into our card base. You'll see that one side of the mechanism will sit on the bottom of the card. Then this smaller side here will sit on the top part of the card. And then that will leave us a square or rectangular for our rainbow to sit on. So you can see there now the mechanism is up against the front of the card which will cl close over and the base of the card and then where my two fingers are there that's where our rainbow is going to sit and when the card closes over then everything will sit into position so i hope that's clear there by slowing everything down you can see how it will sit into our card now I'm going to leave it at regular speed and glue everything down. So the edge of the rainbow there that I've cut off needs to sit to the edge of our mechanism. So it'll sit on there like that right up against that edge. And I'm going to put the glue on that now. That way it can be um, setting with our little image there on top. So I'll put that in there, center that on our image. Lovely. And then that's going to sit inside our card. So I'm just folding it down um, and then I'll put some liquid glue on it. So it's these two little panels that we need to put some glue. So I folded it over this way just so I can put the glue easier on the two panels. 
now I'm going to stick them down so you can see there that the larger panel is going to the bottom and then that little half panel with the glue on it that's going to adhere to the top so I'm just going to make sure I have enough liquid glue there just putting an extra bit on there and then fold that over perfect now I'm just having a look to make sure yeah that's sitting in there perfectly and I'm pressing those two down again and it works lovely so I'm going to let the glue set now I'm going to put my um, clear acrylic block this is a large block and I struggle to find this but if I can I'll link it down below but um, I find that great for adding a bit of weight so I left it it doesn't look like I left it long but I did leave it for about a minute now I'm going to take the lovely happy Easter or the Easter, um, what is that? Is that a banner? I think there's a name for that and I can't remember. But I have that up. I'm going to put a sun in there. I did debate die cutting out a cloud and putting it in there. But I think there's enough going on. I've used the little bird sticker. And I'm going to put on the um, flowers. I've put... I'm going to put three little bunches of flowers on there as well as this uh, lovely day sentiment. I just love the inside of this card. I'm actually, uh, don't tell my sister-in-law, but I'm going to give it to my sister-in-law, Dervla. I think herself and her two kids. She has two lovely girls, um, Edith and Matilda. And I think this would be a lovely card to send to them. So Dervla, Johnny, Edith and Matilda are going to get this card for Easter. <laughs> I just think it's a real, um, it's a smiley kind of a card. Yeah. So I'm going to embellish the back. I've put a strip of the patterned paper, the rainbow sticker and a flower sticker. And that'll give me room to then put my sentiment on the back and my happy Easter wish to them. Now I'm going to put on some of the sequins that came in the kit and I like to glue these down using my liquid glue and I'm going to take some of my Nouveau drops and I'm going to fill the sequins. I love doing that either with clear uh, glossy accents to fill them or you can use uh, Nouveau drops or whatever you have in your stash but I just thought these would be really cool. So the pink one I'm using is called Enchanting Pink and it has a sparkle to it. And then the yellow one is Yellow Bird. Again, this has a sparkle. And then the blue one, it's um, a jewel drop and this one is called Steel Blue and it'll dry. This one will dry translucent. So I just think it's something different for on the sequins. But there's our card and I just love this. I think it's a real... I don't know, real smiley kind of a card, a happy kind of a card. Okay, so now we're going to move on to card number three. This card is going to be a rocker card and I'm using four circle dies from my stash. So the largest die there, it has a diameter of just short of six inches. So it'll cut out a six inch diameter white piece. Then my medium one will cut out a four and three quarters. That's the mustard. The flowery one, the small one is four and a quarter. And I have die cut out a mustard one of that as well. And then the smaller one with all the foam tape at the back cut out a four inch diameter circle. So these three are going to be for the card base. And then the other two will be our um, sentiment panels on the front. So with these, what you can do is on your scoreboard, you can mark the middle of your um, circle and then cut along it. Some people will do that, but I just take it and fold it in half. And because I'm going to cut it so I can use these on the front of the card, I think it's grand, but it's up to you. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm folding these in half and I'm going to cut the patterned paper one and this mustard colored one I'll cut them in half but the white one that's going to be our card base so again you could put this on your scoreboard and score it in the middle if you wanted like I said mine is about five and seven eighths 
so to score it be kind of a little bit hard and I'm not great at maths lads I'm artistic I'm not mathematical so I'm just going to fold it over and I'm going to do it nice and carefully and I'm going to try and get a nice even fold and um, hope that it doesn't crack too much along the top. This is 300 GSM that I'm using for my card base. But it looks fine. I mean, honestly, I think it looks grand. Okay, so my um, flower one is going to go on there as well. And I'm just looking, do I need to do it? Do I need to cut it less than half? Or, But I think I'm I'm just going to cut them down the middle, cut them in half. And I'll be happy with that then. Lovely. Okay, so let's move on to our next part. Okay, so I have the mustard one and the pattern paper one cut down. You can see there. I've also taken this um, lovely sticker, this flower sticker, and I'm going to have that as my little, uh, little piece here. It's going to be on acetate. I'm going to put that onto the mustard one and then I'm going to sandwich it um, with this bloom and grow beautiful patterned paper one on top now with my sticker I actually stuck that down onto some white card and I fussy cut around it and I put the acetate then between the actual sticker and the white card behind it so just so that it would rather than just taking the sticky off I've also used one of the butterfly stickers on the front I've made a bow with some of the ribbon and I've taken this other piece of ephemera and I'm going to stick that on the back because this back piece is going to be where I'll write my sentiment to the person I'm sending the card to. I wanted a couple of more butterflies and um, there is a, um, a tag. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of the word. There's a couple of tag cut parts in there. So I'm going to fussy cut out the butterflies on that tag. Now, you would have seen me uh, glue down my bow there. I like to use my hot glue Sizzix gun when I'm gluing down my bows just to make sure that they don't pop off because um, I used to put the bows on using a little glue dot and I found sometimes they would just fall off when I started card making in the beginning. So I tend to go the OCD route and use hot glue. I know it's on short of pulling it off it's good and stuck down okay so we have our two lovely butterflies at the front now the thing with a rocker card is when you stand your card up you need to be aware of what's on the left hand side and what's on the right hand side because if you have too much weight on one side it's going to lean over to that side so because I have my little um, flowers there on the acetate that would make the card lean over to the left so I need to balance that out by putting things on the right hand side hence the reason why I put my two butterflies I've also put this butterfly on the back side as well and that's going to help to balance out I'm also taking some of the stickers that came in the kit that lovely daffodil um, I've stuck down sunshine and in full bloom as well as a little one of the flower stickers once I've that done I'm going to add some of the sticker sentiments to the front and I'm going to put down the shine lovely and baskets and blooms and I'm delighted with that card the card is balanced nicely now because of all the bits and pieces I've put on the front as well as the back. And all I need to do is embellish it. And to do that, I'm going to use some um, of my Wink of Stella on that. And I have to say, um, the Wink of Stella, the clear sparkle pen and the Spectrum Noir, they are so hard to get at the moment. So I will leave links to as much the products that I use down below in the description but there it's kind of hard to get hold of stock now with this covid going on oh anyway i have my spectrum or my wick of stella sparkle pen done i'm going to take my glossy accents and i'm just going to go around a couple of the flowers on the front of the pattern paper 
And that is our third card, our rocker card, all finished. And this is my first rocker card. Um, I have never made one of these before. I thought I would have a go. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube and I hope you will have a go as well. Okay, now we're moving on to our next card and this is card four. So I have my card base that I have cut here myself. And this piece measures 11 by five. Now in hindsight, if I was doing it again, I would do it 11 by six because I might as well end up with a six by six card instead of a six by five card. My pattern paper there is four and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I have this white panel and it measures four by four and three quarters. And my lovely pattern paper is three and three quarters by four and a half. And that's going to sit up above the top of our card base. I have this strip that I've made up here. The white uh, card is five by one and a half. And then my pattern paper is five by one and a quarter. And I've used some of the lovely peel offs that came in the kit along the edge here. Now I didn't, you'll see there on the top of that, I don't have any of the peel offs, but it's going to be covered, you see, by this panel that's going to go on here. Now I've taken one of the cutter parts and I love this. It's sending you hugs, sunshine, smiles, rainbows and butterflies. And again, I've taken the peel offs and put them on the left and right hand side, as well as lots of foam tape. This little strip here is going to go inside and the patterned paper measures four and three quarters by an inch. And then the matching green flowery pattern paper is four and a half by three quarters of an inch. I have these two lovely wooden embellishments and I'm going to put them on the front. And I used some of my embossing powder. This is the Paper Mania Lilac. And what I did was I dip them in my Versamark um, sticky ink and then into the powder, heat embossed it. But I did that about three or four times. So there's a couple of layers of the embossing powder on that. And I love them. I think they look so cool. Okay, so now well, let's assemble our card. So I'm going to put the pattern paper down on our card base. And again, I'm using the liquid glue here. It just allows me to try and make sure everything's nice and straight. And I love embellishing the insides of the card using the leftover strips. I think it ties the front of the card to the inside of the card. And this I learned from watching Christy Marcotte. She does the kits as well for Love From Lizzie and she just makes beautiful cards. I totally recommend you pop over and have a look at some of the cards that she's made using this kit. Okay, back to the card. You can see there now that um, my panel on the front there is raised up above my card base and that's up a half an inch from the top of the card base because when you measure the card, from the top of that panel to the bottom of the card base, it gives us six inches. So my card will, for a finish, be six by five. That's why I was saying I should have made it a six by six, but it will fit in a six by six envelope. So you can either make this card using um, what I have here and make it a six by five card or a six by six card. Okay, so I'm taking one of the stamps and that's the lovely stamp set that came in the kit and I'm stamping that in a lovely purple color. I think the um, purple on this matches a lot of the purples in the pattern paper. I'm also taking one of the lovely little flowers and I'm going to stamp that three times. Now we're going to use a little bit of our Wink a Stella pen on some of the larger words. I've used it on the hugs and on the smiles. And then for a finish, we're going to take our glossy accents and dot some of the flowers on that cut apart. Lovely. And there's our card finished. 
I really love this card. I love the way um it sits its profile. I think it's really cool and I just love the colors in this card. Card 5 is a Dutch door fold card and I have a white matte layer here measuring 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters. I have a white panel measuring 4 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters and a patterned paper measuring 4 and a half by 3 and a half. I have four white pieces measuring two and a quarter by three and a quarter and I have four patterned paper measuring two by three. I also have this off cut strip as well as this oval. Now this oval um, it's two layers so I have this scalloped outer edge oval and then I have die cut this straight edge oval the yellow patterned paper that will go on top. The dies that I've used for this are the Hunky Dory uh, nested scalloped and straight edge dies. And you can see here that, um, that some of them are scalloped like this and then you have some that are straight edged. And I love this. I think it brings a different look when you're die cutting out using nested dies. So my bunny and my umbrella are from the sticker sheet, but my umbrella, I have put some white card behind that and I fussy cut around it just because it's going to be sitting off the top of my oval. I also die cut out the happy Easter and I've stuck that on the top and you'll see there at the back, I die cut out the P and the Y and I put some foam behind that when I die cut it out so that I could pop that on the back and everything would be nice and level. So that's going to be the focal point on the front of our card. Now this is our card base. And for that we need a piece of card measuring 10 by 11. On the 10 inch side I'm scoring it at 2.5 and, and 7.5. And then I'm rotating it around and scoring it at 7 the whole way down. Then I'm going to come back over and I'm going to score it at three and a half, just down to that first score line. I'm going to flip over my card and I'm going to score it again at three and a half, just down to that first score line. These score lines are markers on this for us for where we're going to cut into our card to make our card base, making this Dutch door fold card base. Okay, so you can see here I have the three and a half inch score lines. One is at the top, one is at the bottom. You can see there's the bottom one there at three and a half. Now I want to cut this up to the first score line and I'm cutting off the score line that I'm cutting along because this edge is going to be seen in our card and I want to make sure it's lovely and clean. So I'm rotating around and again, I'm cutting up on this three and a half inch score line. I'm cutting out the score line itself and I'm cutting up to the first score line. So these will be our little flaps on the front of our card. Now I've rotated it around and I'm going to cut this long score line up to the flap. So using a good pair of scissors, I've come just inside the score line. I don't want to leave that score line behind when I cut my card. I'm cutting it out. Lovely, right up nicely into that corner. Perfect. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm coming in from the score line. I want to cut my score line away. I'm going past that first score line there and up to where we've cut already. Lovely. Now I'm just going to have another look at my score lines there, make sure I've cut them off, that everything is nice and straight. I missed a little bit of the score line there, so I'm going to go back up along and just take off the extra little bit, making sure that's nice and straight. Lovely. Okay, that's as good as it gets. This is handmade, folks. It's not a Hallmark card or um, a printed card. So do your best. And when you're happy with it, move on. That's what I tend to do. So we don't need those two pieces. 
we have our card base now we're going to fold this over so that would be a mountain fold and then we're going to fold these two flaps in as well and this is what gives it the dutch door name and i don't know where that comes from i presume in the netherlands they have doors like this but um yeah i love this um recently mixed up crafts did a facebook live making one of these but i had made one of these before and there's lots of tutorials for different sized dutch door cards my one happens to be a five by seven so now we need to take all our mats and layers and stick them down and this large white piece this is going to be for our sentiment inside the card and i'm going to stick that down again using my liquid glue lovely and i've used two of the strips i've used the um, gingham and the yellow pattern paper now i'm taking the little duck or is that a goose and i'm sticking that down and then we want to um, assemble our mats and layers for the little doors there this piece is for the front top and i'll stick that down lovely and our oval is going to get stuck down onto that panel the two little doors here i have put mats and layers on the inside as well as the outside now you don't have to you could just put two mats and layers on the front and then when you open it the inside is green just like the top part that's open there is just going to be green but um i just thought i would use the pattern paper and um and put it on the inside as well as the outside i thought it just looked nice but that's me so it's up to yourself so that's the inside and the outside done now we're going to take our oval and we're going to attach that to this top flap so we're only going to stick that down about halfway so when you're putting your adhesive on your oval you could mark it and that way you'll know how far down to glue it um, I find this the best, this is what works for me, but you're only going to need your adhesive or your glue on the part that's sitting on that flap. Lovely, I'm happy with that. It's nicely centered and it's stuck down. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to embellish the front of that using some of the stickers on the sticker sheet. So this card I have posted it up on the love from lizzie um, facebook page before i've actually put up the video live i like to give a little teaser of the cards that i've made and one of lizzie's lovely followers on there alina she saw my card and she was like oh my gosh i love this can i have it <laughs> and i'm sure she thought she might have been a bit cheeky asking for it but I was delighted. It really made me smile when I saw that. So um, Alina, I have posted your card. I hope you like it. And Alida happens to come from the Netherlands. So how appropriate is this to go to her? Okay, so I'm finishing up now. I'm stamping the Happy Easter sentiment inside. And I love that. I love the look of it. I love how it sits. I think it's very different, very unusual. So that's our five cards. I'm going to leave you with some images of the cards we've made and I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. If you did, you might click on the little thumbs up icon and give my video a like. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. And if not, you might click on the bell icon down below and that way you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And it helps the YouTube bots see that you like my videos and follow me you can find me on facebook instagram and twitter and until next time thanks for watching stay safe bye for now